Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we will talk about one of the special interpolation tools, Topo to Raster. In this video, I will discuss how to use Topo to Raster tool and how it is different from other interpolation methods. The Topo to Raster tool is an interpolation method specifically designed for the creation of hydrologically correct digital elevation models. That means keeping in mind that everything flows downward. It uses an iterative finite difference interpolation technique that optimizes the computational efficiency of local interpolation without losing the surface continuity of global interpolation. It is the only ArcGIS interpolator specifically designed to work intelligently with contour inputs. Contours were originally the most common method for storage and presentation of elevation information, but not many interpolation methods use it as an input. In this exercise, we are going to use a contour data and a sample point elevation data. In this tool, you can select six different type of inputs, point elevation, contour, stream, sink, boundary, lake, cliff, exclusion, and coast. You can also add more than one feature data here. First, we will select our contour data. Make sure in the field contour is selected and the type is contour. Next, to add another type of data, simply click this plus sign and then add the other data. That would be our random points and that will be the point elevation here. Once you have put your output location and name, rest of the parameters all are optional but we are going to use the contour data as our output extent just to make sure that interpolation data does not go beyond it. Next, the drainage enforcement. By default, enforce is selected. That means the tool will remove all the sinks. Primary type of input data, if you are using more than one type, make sure you select it here. Now this is the result of our topo to raster interpolation. We will compare few points of this interpolated image with the original contour and point distribution data just to check the credibility of this interpolation. Here are the contour and the point data. Let's start with this one. Contour value is 200, random point value is 199 and topo to raster is 200. Next, we'll try another one here. Again, contour value is 200. We got two points, 196 and 208, and topo to raster is again 200. We'll try one from up here, 195, 198, and 200. As you can see, the contour and the topo to raster data are very similar, and the point data and topo to raster is similar but not same. To recap, topo to raster is a specialized tool for creating hydrologically correct raster surfaces from vector data of terrain components such as elevation points, contour lines, etc. Remember, as the algorithm contains as much information as possible in memory during processing, it could be a slow process to run compared to the other interpolation methods. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.